what visas are available for athletes who want to come to the United States and work in their field. Hi, I'm Jim Hacking, immigration attorney practicing law here in St. Louis, Missouri. Our office has handled some athlete visas in the past and we get questions from time to time from people about how does the athlete visa work? What kind of visas are available? And there's basically five different kinds of visas and they sort of go in the hierarchy of how exceptional the athlete is. So in baseball or football, you're going to have varying degrees of an athlete's ability and, and expertise, and that's going to impact what visa might be available to them. So if we just talk about baseball, which is one of my favorite sports and one of my favorite things to talk about, we can go through the hierarchy of baseball and where different athletes are in the baseball system and use that as an example to talk about the different types of visas. So let's say that there's a baseball team from the Dominican Republic or Venezuela who want to come to the United States and have their athletes, their baseball players, participate in a tournament um, at the amateur level. These baseball players would come to the United States on a B2 visitor visa. They would not be coming to earn a living or to make any money. They would not be here um, competing for cash prizes, but so they would have a B2 visitor visa and it would just be for the length of the tournament and maybe a little bit longer so that they can go around and visit various parts of the United States as regular tourists would be. If athletes are professional and want to come for a specific sporting event and let's say they're a professional team out of Mexico or Venezuela and these athletes are playing and being paid, then they would come on a B1 visitor visa if it's just for a short um, tournament or a short competition. And then if, if there are baseball players who are going to come and play in the minor leagues, they're not good enough to play in the majors, they're going to be here on a seasonal basis on an H-2B visa. So that's the visa that would be available to them, to minor league players who don't rise to the exceptional level of professional baseball. And for professional baseball players, if they want to come from Japan or the Dominican Republic or whatever country they come from, they would come on a P-1, a P-1 visa. And those are the visas, too, that we handle sometimes with some of our circus acts. We've brought various circus performers to come for a set period of time on a P-1 visa. The last visa that's available for truly exceptional, really gifted athletes, superstars like uh, Wayne Gretzky or um, who else? Like really exceptional baseball players. These players would come on an O-1 visa, and that would be for someone who you can demonstrate has exceptional ability in their given field and that would be an O-1 visa. So athlete visas are a lot of fun. It's, it's really interesting work to be engaged in and to help athletes come to the United States and work in their given field. Um, if you have any questions about athlete visas or about these different visa classifications, be sure to pick up the phone and give us a call, 314-961-8200 or you can email me at jim at hackinglawpractice.com. We'd be happy to answer any questions that you have. Thanks.